So today's jobs uh, are going to start with just clearing all this up. So this is all the leftover branches that the goats have been eating for the last few weeks. And uh, these are the bits that are left. So they accumulate a fair amount of waste. The sizes that they're not going to eat, but they're not quite big enough to go on the house fire. So we're just going to collect all these up while my son is milking the goats again today, which is a fantastic help. And I've also got this uh, hay bale. So we use very, very little hay throughout the summer months, but I thought it was about time. I've noticed one of the goats is starting to just lose a little bit of condition. She's losing a little bit of weight and uh, obviously we don't want that. So uh, she obviously needs a bit of help. So I've got this hay bale and just make sure that she's got free choice hay, which means it's always there available for her. And um, we'll basically make sure that she's always got access to hay now until she starts looking perfect again. Uh, she, she's not unwell, she's not skinny and or anything else, but she's just a little bit lighter than, uh, than she was a few months ago. So we're just gonna make sure that she's getting everything she needs. So, I mean, if you keep animals, you get to know your animals and you know what they need and when they're happy and when they're healthy. And our goats are still definitely happy and healthy. But like I say, I can just, I can tell that she's losing a little bit of weight and we definitely don't want that. Goats are quite picky so that they're a funny animal. They'll eat anything. If you have something in front of them you don't want them to eat, they'll eat it. But they're also fussy. And what I mean by that is they'll nibble at things and they'll discard a lot. So it's really important when you're feeding goats that you put your hay in a net or a rack because they'll just nose through it. And you'll notice even the stuff over there, you know, they leave a lot. And once they've decided they're going to leave it, that's it. They, they, you can't convince them to eat it. So. I'm just gonna put this little bit of hay in the hay rack and see how they get on with this. Obviously these hay racks is just something I built myself. It's super simple. Just some kind of mesh at the front there so that they can't just pull it all about and push it all on the floor. And then uh, these are two old gate hinges, part of a gate hinge that I just bent over and uh, fixed to this, which was uh, part of a bed. This is my daughter's old bed and it's all just you know, built out of scraps, bits and bobs that were left around. Here's the goat I was talking about. It's Fern and she's perfectly well. She's just lost a little bit of weight and she did have an udder infection about three or four weeks ago. You can see that she's looking a bit thin, not overly so, but uh, you know, definitely thinner than I'd like to see her. So. We're just gonna make sure that she's got plenty of access to as much food of all the different types that she likes until she's looking better. And now I'm just gonna go down this end of the paddock and clear it all out. This stuff, if you leave it there, obviously it's just gonna beat down all the grass. Okay, so I've cleared all the detritus, all the leftovers from here. Um, the next job, once milking's finished, I can't abandon my son yet until the milking's finished. But when it has, we're gonna go up and we're gonna fix that fence that I showed you um, a couple of days ago. We're gonna put the new fence post in, but I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about this waste here. So first thing I wanna say is we've got really low stocking levels. So we're able to move our animals around and give ground a nice break to recover. But if you haven't, then you really wanna watch things like this. So where this ground has been covered, it's killed back quite a lot of the grass. Now that isn't a concern for me for two reasons. Firstly, because the little bit that is left here is gonna break down and it's gonna add loads of nutrients into the soil and it's mixed in with a load of manure from the animals. So you can see here, they spend quite a lot of time in amongst this. And that nutrition that's going into the soil is gonna feed the grass and the grass with nice high levels of nitrogen, which is gonna get from all these leaves and things, is gonna outcompete the weeds. So it might take a while, but the grass is gonna come back here beautifully, really, really strongly. And the second reason is because of the amount of ground we've got here, we're not, you know, it's summer, so everything's got time to recover. I've just noticed actually I've got a little patch here still to do, which I'll do in a second. Then I wanted to talk to you about the actual waste itself. Now, no, this is a lovely holistic, closed cycle energy system that we're taking part in here. It's everything we're about. It's 
100% permaculture. So this here is a byproduct of trimming the hedges. So what we've got from this already, we've got one use and that is that it's fed the goats. Now the leftovers, half of it, or a small portion of the leftovers is now gonna stay here, break down and feed the soil here. And the rest of it, this here, because it's summer, we're gonna just leave this here like this for a day or two and it's gonna dry out nicely. And then a lot of this we'll snap up and we'll store for kindling for starting our fire inside the house. So that's gonna be a third use of it. And then this, these leaves and the smaller stuff, you're not gonna find anything better to add to your compost. The leaves in here are just gonna break down beautifully and just add loads of amazing nutrients into our compost pile. Finally, what's left, the bits that aren't any good for composting and aren't required for kindling or whatever, are gonna go on our bonfire. And when, that, when that's burnt, we're going to get the ash, the potash that's left over at the end. So we're gonna use that again for treatments for potassium in our soil, but for, you can also make lye out of it if you want to make your own soaps and things from home. So um, that's not something we've done yet. It's certainly something I'm gonna be trying at some point is making our own lye to make soap with. So um, that's all projects for the future, but it just goes to show you, if you think about it, you know, stacking functions, those hedges are serving so many purposes and these are decorative hedges. So if you had the forethought and you were the person planning a garden and putting the hedges in and deciding what they were gonna be, you can see how limitless the options can be. Slight change of plans. Um, I've taken the fence posts up to the fence. I've taken the tripod up to the fence. And then what happened, Torin? We found out that the one other thing you need, we can't find. And what is it? don't know what it's called <laughs> the post rammer so the bit of uh basically the big the big heavy metal thing that you slide over the posts and beat them in with we cannot find it anywhere so i, I called my whole family to help all five of us so there's a I called the one in the kitchen family activity we're looking for the post rammer and how long have we been looking Tori? an hour a an long hour? a long time we've looked everywhere Probably it's obviously 45 minutes ish and where have we looked? Tell all the places we've looked. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Seven acres worth. <laughs> yeah. So, and, uh, so we've been looking for as long as the temper's allowed. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not my wife's favourite at the moment because obviously it's my fault. I would have been the last one to use it and I've not put it away. And we all know the story, but uh, it is what it is. So we're going to have to put that one on hold for a day or two until we, till it turns up. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. You got anything to say, Torren, before we say goodbye for the night? No. No? No more news of the day? I haven't got anything planned. I'm just gonna stroke the goats and go inside. Okie dokie. Well, that sounds about right. Speak to you tomorrow, guys.